it's Monday again. Mike and I are here at the shed uh, uh, getting ready to uh, work on the 8-Ball Deluxe table again. Uh, I had a, a photo booth uh, thing to do this weekend, so I stole one of our lights from down here, and Mike is just in the process of putting that back together. So when we get that together, get it set up, get the lights all on, we'll uh, be back to working on the 8-Ball uh, Deluxe table. Uh, my immediate goals for today are to try and get the uh, one um, uh, thumper bumper, no, that's wrong, slingshot, the one slingshot that's not working, uh, to get that uh, working and then maybe get that eight ball uh, deluxe drop target uh, to uh, function. That should make the table completely playable. Uh, we still have lights to do on the back box and figure out what's going on with the lights on the main table. So uh, those are the three things that are kind of on the list for today. All right, let's close this. Yeah. So we can do... So we're flipping it over and spinning it. Is that yep. I think? Well, one side... Let me put, you want to put my side down or your side down? Your side down. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Power cord. So I ran out of uh, memory space on my uh, thing. I had to go and delete some old movies uh, before I could continue. Uh, so uh, I'm not sure how far you saw, but we... Basically move the table around. Mike's going to start wiring lights on the back box. I'm going to pull out this single drop target and see if I can fix it. And also work on figuring out why these, uh, uh, why this one slingshot still refuses to work. But I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to pull this out and take it over to the table and work on it there. Okay, I got the, uh, the single drop target out. Uh, the end of the new target has to go over this thing of metal, but because it's uh, solid on the end, I'm going to have to remove this metal bar in order to get this out so I can slip it on there, um, I think. I might be able to just take this screw out and pull it up. Let me try that first. I don't know. Uh, Hello. Hello. Hey. I'm back. Hey, hey. Back. Come on down. Camera's rolling. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we we have a guest. <laughs> oh, you're not the guest I thought you were. No, no. I'm someone else. Surprise. <laughs> so work is back. Come to say hi. Haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. Nevada. Nevada. Oh. Not Vegas though, unfortunately. Not Vegas, well. No. Reno? <laughs> no, yeah. Reno. We're about two hours west. Uh, east, sorry. I hate Vegas. When, when, when I used to go out there, I'd, uh, 
I would stay in a in a Holiday Inn Express uh, just so I didn't have to be on the strip because I hate being in the hotels on the strip. Yeah, I stay just off the strip in a Holiday Inn, but the Holiday Inn Resort normally just got villas there, which is pretty good. Mm. So what are we doing here? We are. Okay, so I. Six in the drop target for the eight ball. Mm -hmm. I think I think I've got that uh, that working. I'm just holding this here, but it looks like it holds up, pops back down. Okay, so now all I need to do is put it back in the table, screw it all back together, and uh, that part will be done. Mike, there's a little ring here. Was that part of this? No. Okay, good. <laughs> I hate having too many leftover parts. Uh, so I'm going to stop the recording here. I'll move this back to the table and reinstall it. Okay, so uh, we have the 8-ball target uh, reinstalled over there. And uh, uh, it seems to be working right now with the pinball machine upside down. Of course, gravity is totally different when it's upside down. So we'll have to turn this back around. Uh, we started troubleshooting on... Uh, the slingshots it is this slingshot that doesn't work and again it's the switches that we believe aren't working uh, the uh, yellow red wire is common between the two and I ohmed them out and there it's good connectivity uh, so there's something in this uh, orange yellow matrix crossing by the way we checked the diode the diode is good also so there's something in this crossing that isn't working uh, another wire disconnected somewhere up line or something and it is going to take some tedious uh, ohming and stuff. I'm going to have to pull out the schematics and see which other switches are in this circuit and we'll test those out and, uh, and, and see if they're working or not and then uh, we'll figure out where the problem lies. So we were uh, tracing some switches out trying to figure out what might and might not be working and we've Notice that we were having a little funniness with this switch right here uh, because it would advance the lights in this string and it shouldn't. Uh, and it turns out that we have this switch and that switch swapped. And you can tell that by the colors. The, the orange brown color there uh, is the B lane rollover color set and the yellow red and uh, gray red uh, are the rollover. So, uh, so we're going to swap those around. This has nothing to do with our slingshot problem. It's just something we uncovered while tracing the yellow red wire pairs around to find out what they all go to. Uh, so we're gonna fix this and then we'll go back to tracing. Okay, we actually uh, got it all working. We got these two uh, switches uh, flipped around. Uh, of course, it looks identical except for the color of the yellow is now over here. Uh, but Mike uh, noticed that one of the switches uh, on this thing was uh, hung together. And so he uh, adjusted the switch a little bit and now that's working. So we believe the table is now, except for the lights, which we still need to work on, we think the table is playable from a mechanics, mechanical view. So let's uh, turn it over and see if that's really true. Okay, we were about ready to play the game, but uh, we ran into a problem. Uh, this little um, light uh, adapter for the rollover is sitting, and it's going to be hard to see in here in the dark, but it's sitting on this little shelf lifting this side of the table up and making it uneven. So we're going to have to uh, uh, cut a little clearance in here so that that thing can sit down. We don't want to move this. It's right at the edge of the of the table so there really isn't much we can do other than make clearance on the guide on the side.
all three? It didn't like that. Okay. What happened? It didn't make it through its boot. Open the door. <laughs> there you yeah, don't grab those. They're not strong enough. Okay. Well, let me see. Yeah, it didn't make it through the boot. It stopped at five. So get the manual out. So as you can see uh, we're back up and running. Uh, the problem was a blown fuse on the 43 volt supply for the solenoids. Uh, unfortunately Mike has to uh, flip the free game switch to uh, to allow us to put Is that one down there turn the first switch up. And we probably got to reboot right? I don't know. Maybe not but Yeah. Chalk up. Okay, that's so what was going on there? The solenoid just... wasn't kicking the ball out. Maybe it's an adjustment. Set the high score. <laughs> oh, congratulations. The lights are staying on. That truck up here, what it should be. Yeah, the four is on. Okay, what's going on? None of the switches. Switch adjustment on A. Make the He's not registering, is it? Yeah, I can't. 
So those are all down, but it's, you know, it's not coming back up. I'm trying to get the deluxe. Oh, gotcha. I right. thought it was oh, the back the switches. switches. It's not yeah. the front switches. Got it. So now in the real world, that would have given me a, uh, a letter on the back box. Right. And then one of the first letters would have popped up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you walk up to this machine and five of the six are lit, and you get the sixth one, you win three free games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, because it was there was nothing. We put a new board in, yeah, so that's right. yeah. Um, okay, right. so uh, obviously we have a ton of switch adjusting to do, and maybe some solenoid adjusting on the kickout solenoid. But for the most part, it looks like it's working. Uh, the lights, there's still something wrong with them. Uh, I just saw some purple flash in here, uh, so uh, we're gonna have to figure out what that is. Um, and uh, more than likely, somewhere down the line here, there's a there's a bad uh, bad LED or something that we need to repair. Uh, but you know, slow progress every day. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys.